Hey, how's it going out there, everyone? This is Phil Monteleone, the book peddler coming to you at my cozy little shop in Smithville Flats. It's snowing like a son of a gun out there. I'll show you outside. Look at that. So, so business has been mighty slow. Activity at the general store, that's about it. But uh, it's okay. I got a lot of work to do. I'm listening to Chris Knight. What could be better? Polishing off, uh, polishing off the last of this bottle of wine. So I can't complain. But I wanted to show you some books that some of my book sorcerers have brought in. Yeah, they're sorcerers. They they dress up in uh, <laughs> in gowns and pointy caps and <laughs> find me books. No, but for real, I got some people now out there uh, that actively hunt for books for me. They know what I'm looking for. And I want to show you this wonderful material. This one is Alexander's Works. Alexander Hamilton. And somebody, unfortunately, I'll show you, put a piece of duct tape. Horrible. Don't ever do that, please. I'll show you the title page. Works of Alexander Hamilton, official reports the Federalists and Pacificus, 1810, first edition. This is a original three-volume set. If I had the three-volume set complete, it'd be some serious money. But uh, wrapped in calf leather, obviously that front board is uh, detached. But incredible historical book. Show you this one, Life of Thomas Paine, by G. Valley. Or Vale, 1841 first edition. Ain't that something? There's a wonderful uh, steel engraving of pain. Age 72 years. Amazing. And then I got this cool uh, 1813 Gazetteer of New York. And I'll show you this. This comes with a really cool pull-out map of the state check that out what an early book again wrapped in calf leather I love calf leather books some people they just buy them to straight up decorate in I'll show you this one Hiawatha by Longfellow it's not that the book has any you know extreme type of value to it but the way it's made and the colored plates in it are just absolutely gorgeous that's a black and white one. So it's, so it's a poem throughout the whole book if you're not familiar with, with Longfellow. Whoops, there, there's a color one. Let me get to it. All these books will be on my seller site. They either are or soon to be. By the time this video comes out, they all will be. But I just absolutely love this book. I'm actually thinking about just taking it upstairs and reading it myself. Beautiful, beautiful book. And then another book source, sorcerer guy, he brought me, he went to auction, brought me a bag of books, and this was in it. Uh, Woodcraft, the Library of Pioneering and Woodcraft. Complete six-volume set. These these were dedicated to the um, Boy Scouts of America. I'll show you the title page. Just filled with stories and wonderful illustrations by Ernest Thompson Seton. 1926. So what a book. Or what a set, I should say. So yeah, that's what I'm doing the whole day. It's it's just, no one's uh, going to come in when it's storming like this out. But I keep myself very busy. And actually, so currently, I found these uh, Trapper magazines in a barn. I'll show you. Awesome illustrations. So right now I'm sorting these all out by date. They're all in the 80s, from the 80s. And I'm putting them in uh, lots, to in bundles, to sell on my seller site. Which will be linked up in the description uh, below. So you'll be able to find these. Really cool. I got a pile here to go through. A couple piles there. So anyways... Yeah, I figured I'd make a quick video. I posted a couple pictures of these things on my um, on my Facebook site, but I wanted to share a video with you guys. 
and this will come out by the time you get it, it'll be a week later already. But uh, what's great is I'm in a position where now I don't have to do all the time as much as the footwork. I got people actively coming to me and sourcing material. So yeah, I, I have to pay up a little bit more, but that's okay. You get quality material in the shop that I know people are interested in. And if they're not exactly interested in it, there there is a interest online for it. So it's a really nice position to be in. And also to update you, this coming week I'm going on a book pickup in Norwich. This guy has over 5,000 books, so who knows what I'll be pulling out of there. I'll either leave with a bunch or I'll leave with a couple. But um, anyhow, I think that's going to be it for me. I'm going to finish off this bottle, jam out to some Chris Knight, and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. I hope everyone's doing well out there. Please, if you haven't, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Book Peddler. Stay up to date on more book picks, antique picks, in-store, out-store activity. If you hit a little notification bell, it'll let you know when, a, uh, when I post a new video. With that being said, I hope everybody's doing well out there. Until next time, we'll see you.